Good morning. I've got a crazy Indian neighbor that uh, probably just arrived and, uh, and thinks that we all like his music, but we don't, but that uh, nobody has taught him that yet. I'm uh, demonstrating here where you can manually control uh, this, this frame that I built uh, with two motors. I now put in a mirror so you can see what, what happens on the other side. Over there you can see that there's a reflection. And if I use the buttons, I can move it around simply by uh, controlling the motors. That's done by uh, that chip down there, which is a, a device that allows you to input logical signals like plus zero to plus five or I believe a little bit more even and, uh, and get out uh, 16, 24, 36 volts. That is enough to control the motor. I can make a video game out of this. Of course this is used uh, to, uh, if you do this manually then it would be interesting if you want to uh, every now and then uh, get some extra sunlight into your house. You, you build a rig like this on a place where the sun does shine on the north side of your house and, uh, and you uh, have this, uh, this little thing, uh, this, this, let's say push buttons in your house and then one afternoon uh, that you would like to have some sunshine you simply point the mirror so that the sun shines into your house. If you want to do it manually of course you can also do it uh, automatically and that was what I, work, what, what I was working on but one of the parts of the system uh, broke down that I need to communicate with the computer so, uh, so I had to stop and I thought in order to be able to demonstrate different uh, uses of this frame uh, and basically the whole idea that it's, it's, it's a good way to uh, pretty precisely control where, your, where the sunshine goes. It's not bad I think. You can do it even in more detail if you uh, don't, uh, if you if you look really carefully to what the motor does, because this is the axle. No. <laughs> this turns a lot more often than the actual output, because it's a geared motor, so it has four RPM. Uh, but this has turned, uh, let's say, several uh, times before the big axle makes one turn. Uh, and if you track this, the movement of that, this the let's say the, the actual motor axle, then you'll uh, probably be able to, uh, to control it in more detail. So let's get some sunlight in that, uh, in that uh, window there. <laughs> uh, so now I'll mount, uh, I guess, the Fresno lens, uh, the, the, the spot focus one. But, uh, okay. Well, this is going to be exciting. Well, this is going to be exciting with the Indian music. Are we going to be able to uh, to burn the little piece of wood by using the controls? Oh, oops! <laughs> Fuck! Most definitely. <laughs> I'm getting it out of the focal point. <laughs> So this is what happened the other day, is that I basically had this rig set up like this. <laughs> and uh, and it was, uh, the sun was moving of course, and, and this piece of this thing was uh, measured up uh, correctly. So it's really, uh, the focal point is right there. <laughs> Let's try it again. See if I can move through the focal point. Other side. Yay, safe. So this is um, well. It wasn't. If I move it a little bit. This is what happens. Better get it out of there because it's going to burn. You can move it through the focal point. Um, this is not very useful for photovoltaics. For that purpose you would have to be like halfway or a little bit further, a little bit closer to, uh, to the lens. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to see if I can, uh, can get that uh, done, uh, can, can, can get that set up. But uh, this is just a demo. <laughs> and you could see that, uh, that it's easy to move it in and out of focus. It's like one square centimeter. So if this would be tracking, you could actually track it based on the on the extreme temperature difference that you get in the focal point. 
which is interesting of course. Uh, once the temperature starts dropping, uh, you could, uh, you could uh, start moving the rig, but you would have to have temperature sensors that are capable of handling, uh, uh, let's say, the, the, the 400 degrees or something like uh, what we're talking about here. Anyway, so this is just the rig with uh, the with, uh, push buttons, motor controller, and uh, well, maybe uh, when I get the, the microcontrollers uh, back online, uh, you can do this from a distance, but of course, there's nothing that, uh, that can, <laughs> can be allowed to burn. It sure is a nice game if you have this uh, write your own name in, uh, in, in, in sunlight in a piece of wood or something like that, but uh, not yet. So, uh, next is the linear focus lens. So now I've got the linear focus lens set up. So now I've got the linear focus lens set up. Can't really see it, but if you uh, put your hand behind it, you can see that. Oh, I'm burning my hands a little bit. But you can see it's, it's actually the focal point is a little bit more to the front. Let's see if I can move this thing as close as possible. like this. Uh, there you can see. Now what it's, this is because it's not uh, it's pointing too high so I have to move it a little bit. And the more I move it up I had, I had pointed it too low. The more I move it up, the bigger part of the of the rod of the beam will be hit by the linear focus. I'm not sure if this is a fire hazard. I'm finding out. <laughs> See. Yee so now I have the whole thing lit up. It's not uh, it's not completely well. Uh, I guess it has, has to do a little bit like this. So now it's. Very bright. Still not perfect. Has to be like this. Okay, this is towards the focus. So you see that you get a one very bright line, and the next step is to uh, to put uh, PV cells in this uh, in this focal line. <laughs> 